All work, no pleasure. No pleasure. I ain't here to make friends. Big step up. All right, it is 6.50 a.m. The iPhone 16 pre-orders open up in less than 10 minutes. I just woke up, but I woke up for the sake of pre-ordering this phone on time so I could get it on the 20th. Allergies are killing me, but here is the pre-order. One, bam. Nothing changed. Finally, it showed up. Processing payment, payment failed. Boom, we got it. We're Gucci, we got it, we got it. We got a iPhone 16 Pro Max 512 Desert Titanium pickup on September 20th, 9.45 a.m. to 10 a.m. Package secured, chat, I'm going back to bed. I'll see you in a week. Mic check. All right, today is officially the release day of the iPhone 16 Pro Max and you know, all the other iPhone 16s. Pickup is around 9.45 to 10 a.m. It takes about 30 minutes to get to the Apple store. So we're gonna leave here in probably 30 minutes. I got the Desert Titanium iPhone 16 Pro Max. I'm interested to see what the 6.9 inch display is like because this iPhone 15 Pro Max is 6.7. So I don't think it's gonna be that insane of a difference, but with the bezel decrease and stuff that they do every single year, I'm sure it'll be like somewhat noticeable. And the premise of today is basically just documenting me picking up the newest iPhone, coming home and trying to make as many videos as possible. Um, it's kind of like a day in the life of a tech creator. I also ordered the Apple Watch Series 10. Unfortunately, I couldn't pick it up, so it's being delivered today. And I just checked, and it said it should be delivered between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. I got the Her what? Hermes? How do you pronounce it? Her Hermes? Hermes? I got the Hermes Apple Watch because I tried to order the regular Apple Watch and would have came in in like October. And so I got the Hermes. The Air Hermes. I got that one. I get the 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 luxury one. So dumb. There's literally no difference besides a couple different watch faces that you can't get on a normal Apple Watch and some cool bands. The watch costs more than my iPhone. Take that in for a minute. It's crazy. But I've always wanted an Apple Watch and I was gonna wait till the Apple Watch Ultra 3 came out. I thought that would be this year. It wasn't, and then they said the Apple Watch Series 10 is bigger than the Ultra, so I wanna check it out anyway. So before we leave, the first thing I wanna do is just set up my filming station to be completely ready by the time I get home. The goal here is to kind of just decrease friction between creating content. The less, the better, and then the faster I can get videos out, the better. So I made it to the mall, which is where the Apple store is. I don't think they're gonna let me film in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this microphone off. I have my camera on a camera strap right now. I'm kind of just gonna wear it like it's a regular point and shoot camera. I'm gonna try to film whatever I can. So let's go pick this thing up. Cool, appreciate it. Have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. All right, let's go home. All right, we got the phone right here. Now it's time to unbox this thing and make as many videos as we possibly can today. We're still waiting on the watch, so still a ton of stuff to do. Right now the first video I'm gonna make is um, an ASMR unboxing, classic thing that like everybody makes. I'm gonna set this up for an unboxing shot and I'll put you guys somewhere else. So here is my iPhone 15 Pro Max, and here is the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This thing is so clean. Obviously, it looks exactly the same as last year's iPhone. I mean, like I said, incremental changes like smaller bezels, higher resolution camera, nothing insane. I think it's all about, you know, the Apple intelligence features and stuff like that that's not even out yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this phone set up and while it's getting set up, I'm gonna edit the unboxing video. I'm trying to get that posted as fast as I possibly can. I will say the one thing I love about the Apple ecosystem is just how easy it is to set up this phone. Going from like one phone to another, it's just the easiest thing ever. Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to edit while this was going on. Gonna set up Face ID. This kind of brings me back to something on my Vision Pro. 
But so far, feels exactly the same as my last phone. This desert titanium color is pretty nice though. I'm digging it. Oh, okay, here we go, new menu. The camera control feature, it's this new button here on the side. At first, I kind of thought this button was pretty useless because we have a button from the home screen that can open the camera app. But with this, you can open up the camera wherever you are in your phone. Everything is now transferring from the 15 Pro Max over to the 16 Pro Max. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but I should probably take this opportunity to edit this unboxing video. Should not take that long, honestly. Should be insanely quick. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, one second. I just finished transferring the footage, but I think the watch just arrived. So let's go see if the watch is here. Is my watch here? Ooh, let's go. I think the watch is here. You want the watch mochi? Before we unbox the watch, I probably should edit this video real quick. It will not take that long. So let me do that real quick. I'm pretty sure you just put it on like any normal watch. The problem is, is that like this band, it's so hard to put on. I think the orange sport band is probably the play here. Okay, we got it. Damn, this thing is massive. It's like the size of my wrist. Look at that. Just in time for Halloween. Man, I wish this had like a loop. That thing is clean though. I like it. I, I'm digging the orange. <laughs> I was wearing it wrong. I don't think I should be buying Apple Watches, bro. I cannot believe I did not know how to put this on. What is exactly new with the iPhone 16 and the Apple Watch Series 10? To be honest, comparing the 16 Pro Max with the 15 Pro Max, not much of a difference. You have the new A18 Pro chip in here, thinner bezels, longer battery life, 48 megapixel camera. You can now shoot 4K 120 video, which is pretty cool. But the most noticeable change here that I'm sure a lot of people will talk about is the capture button. If I just push this button here, it is just going to open the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's probably some of the biggest differences here. Now this phone does have the A18 Pro chip, which is gonna allow for the Apple intelligence features, but that's not coming out until October. So I'll do a dedicated day in the life video with the iPhone 16 Pro Max when those features come out, because right now this phone really just feels exactly the same as the 15 Pro Max. Now with the Apple Watch Series 10, you're gonna get the biggest display for any Apple Watch ever. It's even bigger than the Apple Watch Ultra 2. You have a built-in speaker on the side which can play media a lot louder. The Series 10 has a depth gauge and a temperature sensor, so it's pretty useful if you, you know, snorkel or something. This isn't an exclusive feature to this Series 10, but this also has sleep apnea detection. Pretty sure that's it. So I'll be doing a full day in the life with both of these products. I kinda just wanted to do a day in the life of you know, what is it like to make videos when these products release? But for now, I'm gonna try to think of some content to make before we head off to the gym. I am excited to wear an Apple Watch to the gym because I have not. Kind of the reason why I bought this was to track my health a little better. You're welcome home. What are these? Fresh new sets. They're called French tips. You like my watch? It looks the same. Do you like my phone? What? You got two in the same day? It looks the same. <laughs> wow. So Where, cool, right? No, where's my iPhone? Ask where's, if you wanted where, one. Where's my Apple Watch? <laughs> at least I got new nails. <laughs> hey, look at these guys. What the heck, you guys? We're lovers, not fighters. I cannot think of a single video that is related to the Apple Watch Series 10 or the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I wanted to do one about how this phone feels very similar to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I feel like it's going to come across too negatively, um, which I don't really want to do. And on top of the lack of ideas, a brand just reached out asking for some video revisions. So now I have to deal with that all in a day's work. So let's get those done and we'll continue the brainstorming session. They have 
live music here and food trucks. So we've never been here before. Nice little post workout meal. It's a focus. I have a couple of videos that I do want to film with this phone now. I kind of thought of some ideas while we were working out. Just gonna try to get content out. That's the goal. All right, I need to try one of these. Oh, it is hot. It's hot. Cheers. It's hot. Oh my god. This is gas. Oh my god. She's hot. Yeah. All right, it's the next day. I did film some A-roll last night and I wrote a couple of scripts for some upcoming videos, but ultimately I did feel a bit disappointed in myself for not doing as much as I had hoped, but I kind of realized I was too focused on getting videos out fast rather than enjoying the process of creating, which is what creating is all about. For some reason, I just thought having these devices on hand were gonna magically help me think of some video ideas, but Obviously that was not the case. I also just personally struggle with making videos that are in my style and for my audience versus making videos that work for the algorithm and for the general audiences, but feel a lot more boring to me, if that makes sense. There's definitely a balance between the two. Luckily, I feel a lot better today. I do have a couple of videos planned on both of these devices, so I'm gonna lock in and get the ball rolling on those. Full day in the life videos with the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the Series 10, definitely coming soon. So if that's something you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe. We'll probably wait for the Apple intelligence features to drop before we do a full day in the life video so I could, you know, fully utilize this thing to its maximum potential. But yeah, I'm gonna be posting a lot more long form. Goal is at least once a week, so yeah. All right, thanks for watching.